flame, orange throat. It's the oriole colored warbler. Another one that winters very far south in the eastern Andes. Here it is coming up to eat mayflies on a stopover south of Lake Erie and then uh, on up farther north in the spruce woods where it'll eat spruce budworm. Whoa. Oh, he just flew right up beneath me here, 10 feet away. As I was just told the saying here at McGee Marsh is, you don't have to work at looking for warblers. They come up and shake your hand. Blackburnian warbler. Whoa, glad to meet you. Can you see how, oh, how close that magnolia warbler was? Just three or four arm lengths out from me. Don't need binoculars at all. So beautifully colored. It's, uh, that kind of bird will turn you into a bird watcher if you aren't already. One look at that. Oh, it just flew in. Baltimore Oriole. Oh, the color of the orange and black contrast. This, this Halloween bird. Whoa, amazing. Orioles, of course, are the birds that build nests that hang, pendulous nests. Almost looks like a bit of the tropics brought north. This is a great place to just sit and wait. My favorite kind of bird watching, sit and wait bird watching. In a place like this, McGee Marsh, that's the best way to bird watch. Things just fly in right to you. Oh my gosh. Warbling Vireo. I hadn't seen a Warbling Vireo yet. And over here is a ah, black pole. Black pole warbler is the special bird. It's probably the longest distance migrant of all the warblers. Winters in Amazonia. And uh, oh, this is also an interesting bird that, that when it heads south in the fall, oh, downy woodpecker, heads south in the fall, actually jumps out over the Atlantic Ocean, ah, heading almost east over the island of Bermuda and on down until it gets to South America. 2,400 mile trip. Now hopping up this tree that's lying horizontally is a white crown sparrow. Ah, beautiful coloration pattern, the contrast, black and white stripes in the head. Just over here down low, very typical. Uh, I can see without the binoculars, it's a palm warbler because it's just bob, 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 and along. There's three or four species of warblers that do lots of tail bobbing. The palm warbler is a champion. Very, very pronounced tail bobbing. Just off in here is a northern perula. This bird has a little song uh, aptly described, goes up a scale and falls off the top. Other birds flying around. Here's a, oh, there's a kinglet, little three. Wings constantly flashing, very distinctive, very agitated. Forager, ruby crown kinglet. This place is impressive. The McGee Marsh Bird Walk. No place I've been where it's been easier to look at migratory songbirds. It's really wonderful that this is a place that's accessible to the public narrow little strip of land right on the shore of Lake Erie. And here we can walk with a boardwalk set up for us and see birds come to within 10 feet of our face. If you get a chance, in the middle of May some year, northern Ohio, McGee Marsh bird area, this is fantastic bird watching.